Happy Monday, everybody. So this is unannounced, but I wanted to jump in here and just have a quick little chat with you about weekly systems. Now, this uh, Facebook group, uh, if you're watching it in the group, uh, Systems to Scale Your Business, the, the whole reason that I started this group is without some kind of system in your business, you're going to go crazy because there's just constantly stuff to do. So uh, do you feel that way? If you're watching live or even on replay, let me know if you feel that way that, you know, you thought you were going to create this online business and have this life of freedom. And now all of a sudden, what do you have? You just have all this stuff that you're constantly trying to keep up with. You're juggling all these balls and you just can't figure out how to get everything done. Well, what saves you are systems, creating those systems in your business so that you can stay focused and you can get uh, more things done. So I just wanted to chat about how I set my week up in a perfect world. I actually set my week up on Sunday evening, uh, but if not, I do it first thing uh, Monday. And I have a whole productivity course about this. So this is just a tiny little sliver, but so what I do is I look at the week and I highlight those key points, you know, maybe their appointments or maybe their, um, you know, working work time, I'm trying to say with your clients, or you might even have carved out time uh, for your creation time, whatever it is, you've got those highlighted, those big boulders, so to speak, in your week. But then every day, uh, you should be aiming towards something. So I, I have something in my course, I call it my top three, one must. So what that means is, I mean, we can't get 20 things done in a day unless they're only, you know, one minute each. So I identify the top three things of the day. And if I'm working towards a big goal for the week, uh, so for me, I'm actually working on uh, revamping my next uh, business accelerator. So that's like a bigger goal that I'm working towards. But for today, I look at what are my top three and my one must that I must get accomplished. And that's what I focus on. I get that stuff done. And then if I have extra time, I can devote to doing some of this uh, other stuff out there. In addition to that, in addition to identifying your top three, one must, I have, I like to just call it administrative work. So there are certain things that you need to do every day in your business. Part of it are marketing activities. So you might uh, allocate maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And notice I said allocate. You need to be in charge of your time. So allocate a specific amount of time you're going to spend every day marketing your business. So for me, if I'm doing some organic marketing, then I'll be spending maybe 30 minutes a day. And as I look at my schedule, it's not just all over the place. That's one of the first things I do. I'll spend uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes uh, earlier in the day and another 15, 20 minutes later in the day working just on that one piece. So I get into social media for a purpose. I do what I need to do and then I get out. I'm not there consuming it as an educational source. All right. So that's one of those little administrative things that I do. Another administrative thing is uh, handling my email. Now I have, uh, again, another little course, a mini course on how to keep your email under control. The little mini course is called Inbox to Zero. And again, you're the boss. You're the CEO of your business, so you have to be the boss of your email. So again, I allocate a specific amount of time to work in my email. And when I'm in my email, I work it. So what I mean by that is I take care of business. So if I'm in there and I'm not just selectively, well, I don't want to deal with that. And then it sits in the inbox as my to-do list. No, I dedicate a certain amount of time. I, you know, I'll do a quick scan, uh, kind of like at the emergency room, do that quick uh, uh, triage uh, evaluation and make sure the most critical things are taken care of. But I have that set time 
that I'm working in my email. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it does. Um, so those are the like the two main administrative types of things. And then from there, you start looking at your schedule, uh, th those top three one must things, and you allocate time that you're working on that. So <clears throat> as you're growing your business, you think about developing that CEO mindset and that mindset is that you are the boss. You are not letting work dictate what you do. You're not letting those shiny objects dictate what you do, but you um, you make that decision up front, how you're gonna spend your day, how you're gonna spend your week, and you're always aiming towards that end point. So I had mentioned earlier that one of my goals for this week is I'm uh, getting ready to vamp up the next uh, session of my business accelerator. So I want to uh, rebuild just a little bit the sales page so it's it's more clear as far as what the uh, outcome is going to be. And just a little side commercial here, if you're struggling or you're just getting started in your business, the business uh, is kind of a boot camp, but over 10 weeks, the goal and the transformation is you will have built all of your back end funnel and marketing pieces. So that means your landing page, your opt ins, uh, creating those little tiny offers, setting up the back end if you're getting ready to create a course, all of that stuff we work together. And, and that's what my business accelerator program does over a 10 week period. It's a, a guided process. So I um, end of commercial. So anyway, for my week, because that's high on the radar, that is top above some of the other um, duties or things that I would even like to do in my business. Uh, other than working with my clients, that's high on the list, and I'm going to stay focused on that. So I hope that makes sense as far as creating these systems in your business, systems that will keep you sane. And while I'm talking about systems, let me, let me give you um, a little um, mini system that I use for email management. First thing is once a month, I spend some time. So again, I have a little system. I spend some time in my email inbox and I unsubscribe. Now, we're, we're all trying to get people to subscribe to our list. And sometimes people think, oh, I hate to unsubscribe. You know, I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. It's just numbers. Most of the time, people aren't even recognizing how many people are unsubscribing. If you're not their ideal client, if you've gotten what you needed from them, you're actually doing them a favor by unsubscribing because most systems out there, you get to a certain point and they charge you uh, per email. So uh, do both of you a favor. But the real beauty for you is, and we've all done it, you've got 50 emails in your inbox, delete, 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 because you don't read them anymore. So quick little system hack is, again, create a system of when you're going to unsubscribe. I try to do it once a month, and if I remember, I'll put a little shout out here in the group so that you can do that. Another little uh, system hack that I'm just going to share with you is uh, when you're building a list, uh, so let's say you've built that awesome freebie or a little mini program that somebody's going to download. You take them to a thank you page. On that thank you page, make sure that you ask them to whitelist you or ask them to put your name in their contacts. Because especially with Gmail, what happens? All the email goes into the spam. And so you're sending out these works of art. You want people to read your emails and nobody is. So again, you have to educate and you have to train people to want to open your emails. You have to train them to look for the email. So on your thank you page, you know, they were excited. They wanted that little freebie thing. So you let them know, hey, check your e email in about five minutes, but do me a favor make sure that you click on it and say it's not spam 
or better yet, click on it and add me to your contacts. So see how easy that is. And then you let them know why. In addition to getting this freebie, I have another special gift for you that's arriving in two more days. So do you see what you've done? You've opened that loop and you're getting them excited about what? I, I get another gift? Or, you know, maybe it's training, whatever it is, but you're giving them an in you're giving them an incentive so that they're going to start looking for your email and they're going, going to make sure that it doesn't end up in their spam. All right, so that's it for today. I just wanted to jump on and just talk about systems, talk about your week. So let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you're working on and let's have an awesome week. Take care.